what's going on? It's the Raise the Bar Tour, the final event. We are back here. Birthdays in London, the second time in a month. The last event was nuts. This one's been dope so far as well. It's uh, going to be a very fucking good clash. If you're in the building, please make some noise, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Football's done later, but all the real supporters came out and uh, we're going to try and wrap up the event in time so everyone can mix battles and football and everyone's happy, you know what I mean? Please log on to the forum, follow us on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, all the links are in the description. Thank you very much, all the fans that come out for the Raise the Bar Talks, the final event. Alright, MC on my right hand side, repping Dub White, lead City, he's battled a couple times already in the tour, now making his third appearance, I think, in this tour. Please make some fucking noise for Peace Soldier! <laughs> And on the left hand side, making his return from the 2012 crop, which is uh, some of the legendary charts from over the last few years, now making his uh, return to the league. Please make some noise for Enigma. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. This battle inside information was arranged in a Facebook status comment section. How fucking <laughs> sick is that? Alright, we have flipped off camera. Enigma won. He chose P Soldier to go first. Raise the bar to us on P. Let's go. Get it. Yo. Ready, people, yeah? Yeah! yeah. Alright, yo. See, I'll make you read between the lines like them two niggas when I roll up with two niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you read between the lines like them two niggas When I roll up with two niggas Pistol tucked in them hill figures and hill figure No literally hill figure when the image is distraught When the feds coming out lying him in chalk You're dead <laughs> See I kick back and smoke the finest of crows While you base up and shove Cheng up your nose And pussy, don't think you get a hood pass Cause you stuck your dick in a black bitch Cause you supply <laughs> Cause you supply that undercooked pastrami while I'll take her to the office and introduce that bitch to a manwich. And yeah, motherfucker, she is the filling. No, she'll get a filling when she sees more black than an oil drilling. No, she'll get a drilling. Man will send her back depressed with a jaw fucked like the aftermath of a weekend of pilling. Cause my bars are dirty, like three day old festival pussy. <laughs> Cause my bars are dirty Like three day old festival pussy Cause I spit that real true shit that only real G's can relate to While you spit that weird shit that only you and Eat can relate to <laughs> So back to the topic. Just cause you stick your dick in a bitch the same colour as a topic, it don't mean you <laughs> So back to the topic. Just cause you stuck your dick in a bitch the same colour as a topic, it don't mean you can get involved in any kind of hood topic. Cause pussy, what do you know about seeing a nigga getting stabbed? Leaving like a three inch gash and all the nigga used was a KFC napkin and some duct tape to hold together the <laughs> What do you know about picking up Mixie A and mixing it with Bash? What you know about doing shit in school but always being a genius with the maths? Dry toast, sugar water, no milk for the cereal but we still kept intact. I mean some fights in the end lasted no longer than the swing of a cricket bat. I mean I've seen man get robbed, shot, beaten and stabbed. Fuck it, I've even seen a man get chopped up and put in a kebab. No, I'm just fucking <laughs> Go, Nigma. Oh, serve me to murder this worthless rapper. Looking at you, I bet your favourite food is jerk on pasta. Coming to this battle in that snapback looking like a fucking Turkish rasta. <laughs> <laughs> and he's half white and half black, which means your dad's in prison and your mom's a slag. <laughs> He calls himself Peace Soldier. That makes you the soldier of money. Motherfucker. That makes you the soldier of money. 
He calls himself Pete. I'm just practicing. This is cool. <laughs> he calls himself Pete Soldier. That just makes you the soldier of money. But all that means is you're a cunt sized dunce guy filled with dumb pride. I don't think you understand how the world works. Because when it comes to the crunch time, it's the soldiers who have to sacrifice their lives on the front line. Because yeah, yeah. real gangsters don't call themselves gangsters. They sit back and rake in the cash. Whilst soldiers like you, who are blatantly slack, are happy with every plate that they have. But they feel like they're actually slowly making a stack. But they disregard all the cake that they lack. So whilst you're there, like, I'm killing the scene. <laughs> My lyrics are peak. I'm flipping the weed. You forget that every time you buy your supply, you're kicking up green, and they're kicking up green, and they're kicking up green to a guy in a penthouse who's actually living your dream. Which means every time you feel like To a guy in a penthouse who's actually yeah, sure. living your dream So every time you say peace soldier in the lyrics you speak You're actually saying you're proud of being a puppet at the bottom of a worldwide pyramid scheme yeah. Slacker, whack rapper, actor, amateur, you lack the protein And how the fuck are you gonna act so mean when you can barely grow a goatee? <laughs> You wanna tell everyone you're some, you're some underground OG and go on low key But all you and your crew raps about is how you smoke weed So you're practically in a relationship with the mainstream the way you're all fucking pro-green And listen, listen earthworm snoop Those, those eyebrows are the size of the White House and, and you wanna act like you're some kind of pimp who bones bitches Motherfucker with those eyebrows and those teeth you look like the fucking Grinch that stole Christmas and the only reason you're in Don't Flop is because you got the WY to blow up Ron's line and give you some credit. I got in this league through merit, and I got a big issue with the way you begged it. No! I said it was like you were selling a big issue with the way you begged it. So you could talk about how you get with women and you're the best of written and better than red and method spitting, but your career lacks definition because the only time your record's spinning is when you're helped out through nepotism. So, so Jordan, don't talk like you could when you even walk like you're shook. In all your battles, you have your boys in the front row giving fake reactions, so it's Sounds like the full force of the hood when you get applause from your crooks So you're basically a hot chick with saggy tits Cause you always rely on outside support to look good And yo And in, and in, most, in most of his battles He wears a cross at the bottom of a gold chain that's so lame. I don't know if you read the Bible, but in it it says it's okay to own slaves. So, fuck this guy and his music. He's so stupid that when it comes to election time, I bet he votes you, kid. <laughs> Racism in the building, yeah. Racism in the building, yeah. Yo, hold it down, everybody! Oh, let's go! Yo, see, I don't give a fuck. I... See, I don't give a fuck. I rap about the grease, boss. I'll wait till you take your bitch cinema, sit in the seat behind and blow your bitch's weave off. And I didn't even need no tools from Mission Impossible. Cause that bitch has got a big head to miss it's impossible <laughs> But yet again, I'm battling another posh bitch mm. Well keep running your mouth and you can get stuck up like a posh bitch I mean these shots won't be collaging when they hit his face like a posh bitch mm. See I'm throwing them precision punches Not even Bond could afford the shit Even if I'm high as fuck, liquor the bottom and all of it I'll still wind up the fist and give him shots to the jaw with it Cause I got perfect team even when I'm legless like Oscar Pretorius. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, but Enigma's love life is like a Spider-Man comic book. His Mary Jane left him because his webbing wasn't strong enough. I mean, him one pump he can throw like what the Green Goblin chucks. Plus, you need prescription pills to get it up. Get it? You need a doctor rock the puss. <laughs> <laughs> But on a real, how many stories have you made up to get Facebook likes? Pussy. <laughs> Listen, on a real, how many stories have you made up to get Facebook likes? Pussy. Dead your hype? Cause I would rather be nameless than make up some bullshit to get Facebook famous. Basically what I'm saying is you're just day three ways with a better wife. <laughs> but fuck that boot rude bitch. No. I'll but fuck that rude bitch. <laughs> now you're known for saying some rude shit and fam, I 100% mean this. I hope that when your next you is born, it's born with a hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
so it won't ever be able to raise the bar. <laughs> or spit over the head quills. <laughs> or even open the door to the scene. <laughs> Fill up a spiff of the green. <laughs> Team. <laughs> Fucker is fucking dumb. You said you'll blow my girl's weave off. Her hair's real. She's not your mum. <laughs> and in this round, in this round, I'ma start to expose him. Acting all hard like your heart is all frozen, but he's so gassed up, gassed up, all it takes one spark to explode him. Because in that BDP video, he said. I don't rap about the weapon I've concealed, the weapon is my pen. But then, in almost every battle you do, all you talk about is letting off the skeng. So don't say you don't do something when you do do it, you fake motherfucker. Be like, I'm being soldier, I'm real in it, save them. I talk truth, not like these other waste man. But then all you talk about is how you tuck the gat in your waistband and make the blood shower so much people should call you Rain Man. You're such a fucking liar, I bet your Ray-Bans are called Gay-Vans, and, and you're not even mixed race, you're just a fucking white dude with fake tans. <laughs> You look like any of the motherfuckers on Space Jam. <laughs> Yo, I'm not, I'm not a rapist, I swear. This girl I raped over here? Nah, officer, she was just braiding my hair. I mean, I hate hearing your fucking gutter flow when playing your voice from a hi-fi. He's fake as fuck, eight foot one and broke, but claiming a voice like he's five nine. So you wanna... He's the type to act like he snipes and wipes guys right off the planet at night from a high rise. Wear a tie dye bandana. Thighs hide the hammer on a bike ride as you drive by and slice guys with bite sized kite knives. Nice try. That talk is all sci fi. You must associate more with the pale side of your heritage the way you be spitting those white lines. Because I spy with my eye a nice guy. And, and if, if you want a wife, right, you better hook up some Wi Fi and look for a Thai bride. And maybe once in your lifetime, you might spend five minutes in a gun store, but the closest this soldier's ever been to battle is when this lanky faggot used to play Thumb Wars. <laughs> plus, you, plus, you need to shut the fuck up and slow all that drug talk, because the only time you ever push keys is when you open your front door. Because he likes to fabricate his reality, rewrite his life through the rhymes in his bars. Fronting like he's violent and hard every night, getting sliced up and fighting with sharks, saying he used to carry knives in his past. But that's all lies and a laugh, because this guy's a farce and frightened of dark ever since that time when he was five and his mum left him behind in a park. And what about a time? in your nine when you're caught crying in class and see peace soldier wants to be major see but generally he's not that nice with bars because i already battled marcus stanley and marked him with a stanley and sliced apart that guy's facade mm. now i've got to take another stanley to another stanley because this faggoty dipstick is practically stanley ipkiss the way this comedian's hiding behind a mask yeah. I wouldn't find it really hard. I could say I grab the Glock, aim, strap and lock. I'm like a clumsy builder the way I let the fucking hammer drop. <laughs> <laughs> See, you adopt this fucking American psy uh, psycho persona, act like you're a menace, but the truth is your pen is. It all comes from your pen tip. Every murder you committed has been in your head or on the page like Brett Easton Ellis. So you need to display some penance and watch what you're saying because what you're spreading is reckless. You can say you put a clock to my teeth, but watch how you speak or I'll make your whole fucking top row of teeth disappear on some 50 cent shit. Mm. Fucking run out of air and shit. But fuck, <laughs> fuck, you want to act like you're shooting a clip and kill every dude on the strip. Put two in the hip, bullets grooving the skin, creating fist size exit wounds when you hit, but this is London, not Leeds. Around here we smash up pussies like you with a brick. Yeah. So you can tell him you got a gun, yeah, tell him you blast them. They're not eeny, meeny, miny, mo this bitch like I'm Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Yo, ready yet? Yeah, right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go round three. three. Hold it down. Shh. Look, you emo bitch. <laughs> I know you were racist at heart. But I just find it funny that you went on dating in the dark and ended up dating with the dark. <laughs> when you look like you should be skating in the park or playing the guitar. Yeah, multis. I've got multis. <laughs> Yo, see I'm real disrespectful, okay. you monkey shagger. Where should I begin? <laughs> I'll pour wet cement in your pregnant girl's pussy, hoping she's having twins. <laughs> then I'll get your kid's head and cut his head off like a Mexican drug lord. The blood was splashing everywhere, but fuck it, these aren't my good cards. Fuck me. Hold on! 
<laughs> you have mixed race, you, so when you walk in the streets with your kids, them look stolen, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Trace kids, so when you walk in the streets, we use them looks stolen. Hold on, me have two G's there, pump me belt buckle and them shit frozen. Hold on, me bring the arms like semi on. You and your best friend, I get roll on, baby. Did it that 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 going on, baby? Did it that 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 that. Get time for the bee, like say it's a swarm. Wait, <laughs> Enigma. Me a BT like say him a matty Call up the feds, try then can't stop it Baby did 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 at it Me not have a snipe, me had a dat it Me just forget it, me had to get it Me get your girl, she sit on it a wreck it Me get the pump pump dagger and a wreck it Did it, dagger, dagger a wreck it Yo, Yo, I see you're spitting all that slick clown shit with your six pound wig Long thin, and, <laughs> long thin and tan, looking like fucking Chris Brown's dick. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, I seen it, I seen it. It's fine, I got, I got it on my screensaver. <laughs> and, and you're so fucking tall, I bet you when you were three, you still look like a teenager. <laughs> you know what? You act like you're boning cheekers and throwing cleavers and roll with heaters. But that shit's more annoying than fucking could see than a 90 second minute goal on FIFA. Cause you might be, you think you're tough just cause you're seven foot. But if I kicked you in your nuts, your size would be irrelevant. Cause we all know it only takes a mouse to bring down an elephant. Mm. Or in your case, a giraffe. I mean, your, si <laughs> your size is like a D12 groupie. It's fucking bizarre. I mean, I, I, I mean, I bet. I bet when you yawn, you bite apples off trees. I bet when you kiss, I bet when you kiss your girlfriend. I bet when you kiss your girlfriend, she has to stand on your knees. So you can act like you're bad than me and the man on the street. But people, nah. You can act like you're bad than me and the man on the street. But when people ask your grandma who your ancestors be, she's like, I don't know. If you want an accurate read, go ask the motherfucking family tree. Cause you're so tall. You're so tall that you hit your head every time you enter a room. Your legs are so long that at birth you dismembered the womb. <laughs> You're such a fucking giant when you walk around at night you headbutt the moon. <laughs> Plus you're called Jordan and yet can't afford Jordans. I don't know if that's ironic or tragic. They're not Jordans. Ralphie's. <laughs> <laughs> Plus you're wearing sunglasses inside a club. What a faggot. Yo, against Chronicle he said, I'm Big P, I'm colder than ice. I never heard something so dumb. What next? You're gonna tell us you're as hot as the sun? Warm like kebabs? Fast like Sonic? Chili, like scotch bonnets. He even said, he even did a fucking foot fetish defeat bar. Are you fucking serious? That's like me saying, I'm wearing red, like your mother's period. I mean, you can say you're an accountant the way you hold these figures. You can say you get girls naked, we should call you stripper. You can even talk about how you pull the trigger, but I'm bad enough to go up to you in a room full of no, black people no, and call no. you. No. Nice. <laughs> Fuck it, fuck it, this guy's so lost. Acts like he owns blocks and sells coke rocks and you might be hard on the outside like a robot, but you're soft inside. Your personality's Botox. I can imagine this faggot wearing a faux fox coat top with chrome crocs shouting out, don't flop. Be soldier, I'm a motherfucking P general. I run up in your vault like a road cop, then fuck your hoe and have a ride on my bike like a roadhog. Mm -hmm. Your mum's face most probably is bigger than most props. And, and your catchphrase is, I'm real disrespectful. But how are you gonna say that when against Jeffers you spoke about his daughter and cut the scheme short and apologise. That's not disrespectful, that's a bottle move. Real disrespect is when you know it's disrespectful and you still follow through. So you're clearly not meant for this. I'm the mentalist, demented, a 100% offensive prick. Everyone in this room knows I'm the king of this disrespectful shit. So I'm real disrespectful. I'll kidnap your seven year old son and he'll disappear from this world and I'll never find that motherfucker again like those 200 Nigerian girls. And yo, I know that part was kind of rotten, but his next part is genuine. I don't want to sound like I'm mocking. I just want to thank your great grandfather for the boxers, because these motherfuckers are a hundred percent cock.
Please don't get emotional. I love black people. In fact, my family even used to own a few. <laughs> <laughs> This man is officially the worst at rap in this industry. I find it funny that you usually wear a gold chain around your neck, but I guess it reminds you of your family history. Oh, no. so, that's how, so that's how you be real disrespectful. You can feel it when I flow, and I'm a writer, so this amateur should already know he's going to get beaten by the pros. I don't like Yo, this is a uh, don't flop. This is also probably the last time we'll be allowed on camera, so fuck that. It's all good. Thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot for all your support over the years. <laughs> no, big up, yo. <laughs> fuck it, yo. No, nah, it was uh, Enigma vs. Peace Soldier. Guaranteed controversy every fucking time. What a surprise. It was a dope battle. Shout out to them both. Really enjoyable battle. Thanks a lot for everyone watching it, all the crowd as well. But you're now actually picking up another win on his return. It's Enigma. Make some noise. Go. Building, so look at his face where you can. <laughs> Sorry, don't kill me. The title and walked away that thousand dollar check, and you didn't even get credit. But that's your fault because you let him get to you, let him get into your chest menace. He tamed you, motherfucker, made you into his pet menace, and snatched that paper from under your nose and finished off your sketch menace. So even though it was fucked up, under